Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're going to bake and dehydrate spaghetti squash. Here's what I'm going to be putting my spaghetti squash on. Here's what I'm going to put the guts in. And here are my spaghetti squash that I got from the market. I think I'm going to go ahead and grow some next year. You want to cut them as evenly in half as possible because we're going to be baking them on the cookie sheet and we want them to cook evenly. So now we're just going to take our spoon and we're going to scoop out all the innards and these are going to, the innards are going to go to my pigs. Now I've tried saving seeds from store-bought or even market-bought squash in the past, uh, spaghetti squash, and they don't grow. I've never been able to grow them from seeds I've harvested. So I'm just going to have to go ahead and buy myself some organic heirloom spaghetti squash seeds for next year. And that way I'll be able to harvest the seeds and continue from then on out. All right, so when I have all of these, scooped out like this we'll be back alrighty here is our five spaghetti squash we did have six but one um, had a hole in it and was bad well it wasn't bad it just wasn't you know it had a hole in it and it didn't do well so that's going to go out to the pig and now we've set our oven to 350 degrees and now we're just going to cover this whole tray with tin foil because we want the steam to stay in. We don't want these to overcook or dry out. I know it sounds silly, but because we're going to be dehydrating them, but we want them moist so that we can take them from the shelf. All right. These are going into a 350 degree oven for about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on when they're done. Our uh, spaghetti squash has been in the oven for about an hour and a half. And we're going to let it cool some, but I'm going to show you how this works. Okay? You just take a fork and you start running it down the inside of the squash. Look at that, it's like spaghetti noodles. Isn't that wonderful? So we're just going to take our strings and we're gonna like lay them out as much as possible. Look at this, it's just like spaghetti noodles. Isn't that wonderful? And the more you run the fork in, now it's important to do it from side to side, not top to bottom, or you could break your strings. We're just gonna lay these out and try and spread them out as much as possible okay we'll be back when these trays are full of spaghetti squash okay here it is we've got one two one two three four five trays and uh, we had a half of one for lunch so we have four and a half um, spaghetti squash on here so i'm just going to put the lid on and i'm going to set it I'm going to do it down to 115. So here we go. It's on, and we'll be back in about 12 hours, and uh, I'll show you how it rehydrates. Okay, friends. <clears throat> Learn from my mistakes. Uh, when you dehydrate spaghetti squash, either use your fruit leather trays, or if you're going to use these, put a circle of parchment on them because this stuff really sticks. Now, <sighs> Please folks, don't tell me to use cooking spray. I won't use cooking spray on these trays when I'm dehydrating food for one simple reason. Cooking spray has oil in it and if you're going to dry out something for long term food storage, you don't want to introduce oil. Introducing oil can introduce rancidity. Okay, so here is 
hour four and a half. Now remember I had six spaghetti squash. One was bad. Um, then I had a half of one for lunch. So that leaves me four and a half. Now again, folks, if you're going to dehydrate, don't use these trays or put parchment on them or use fruit leather trays. So we're just going to put this in this bottle. And then I'm going to make some for lunch. Okay, sorry for the sound of my dishwasher, but the dish has got to get done. Now, I'm just going to take just a handful of this spaghetti squash. I'm talking maybe a quarter cup. And I'm just going to add some boiling water. So we're going to give this about five minutes and then we'll be back. I just want to taste this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little wee bit of butter, a little bit of pepper, and just a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Let's, ha let's have a taste, shall we? Mmm! That's really good. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, Spaghetti squash, I'm going to grow some next year.